Hello Virgo. Welcome to your Tarascope for mid-June 2020. This is a general reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. There will be an extended version of this reading on Vimeo if you find that you are resonating with the story and you want more information. There is a link in the description box below. We are starting off with an overall message from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed if anybody's interested in that. And look what we have for you, Virgo. New life. New life, new year, new you. Did you just close a cycle? Did you just move to a new home? Move into a new relationship? When I get new life, that makes me think of like everything has changed or there's been a lot of changes. Let's put that up there. Actually, we'll put it over there. I think you can still see that. Let's see what we get from the tarot. Angels, divine spirits, and guides. Show me the messages for Virgo for mid-June 2020. What does Virgo need to know? Show them the message. They need to see Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Angels, please. What is coming up? Okay. Page of Cups. King of Pentacles. A loving message from a solid stable man all right guys that's way too many cards hold on angels can we just have one or possibly two cards at a time not big chunks i'm only looking for one more card actually before i cut the deck and then can we just have one more for Virgo? <laughs> I don't know. The cards, all the cards seem like they were coming out so quick. All right. Thank you, angels. All right. Justice. Well, that's a nice start. Bottom of the deck is a six of pentacles. Upright position. Very nice. One, two, three. That will be your overall energy for this reading. <laughs> what? Virgo? What is going on here? Ten of Cups, two of Pentacles. All right. Seven, eight. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Eight, Seven of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups and the Justice card. I mean, my goodness. This is a really good... But the Six of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck. Knight of Wands. The World Reversed. What's that about? Because I feel like that's the world in the upright position options. So maybe... You're trying to make a decision about closing a cycle and going in a new direction. Hmm. Nine of Cups. Let me take these three and leave them out. Let's leave this up here. Lots of money, Virgo. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. I got Soul Contract on the board. Let me just look at my camera real quick, guys, because these cards are shiny. And, yeah, see, the Justice card is a little bit in the glare. These cards, I love these cards so much. They're so pretty. But when you're doing a YouTube video, they're very shiny. Okay, that looks better. They are the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot, if anybody is interested in that. So, sitting here looking at these cards, I feel like you really do have a new life, Virgo. I'm seeing new job, new home. I want to read this new life, 39. 
I just want to be sure because I'm assuming that it's like the world card that something ended. Let's see. 39. You have every reason to be optimistic right now as things seem to fall into place magically. New opportunities remind you that abundance is available to you. Delight in the bounty that begins to appear in surprising forms. Stay curious and know that your hopes and dreams are being fulfilled. It's as if a new life suddenly infuses your projects, work, and creative ideas with a kind of electricity that crackles with exciting potential. Fortune is smiling upon you. So I see a lot of that here. I mean, the Page of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy is, uh, it's good news. It's uh, someone expressing feelings. It's something that happens out of the blue, but it is also creativity. I feel like as I'm overlooking the whole scenario, I feel like somebody is working on something that's going to pay off really big, like almost a new invention, possibly with this King of Pentacles being here next to the two of Pentacles. I'm feeling like someone possibly applied for a business loan. The two of pentacles being in the center of the reading just makes me feel like someone has some type of a side hustle. I feel like these two people, you have this queen and this king of pentacles here. Possibly maybe they both have regular jobs, but they're working on something together, almost like a partnership. This is a very happy marriage. Um, the Justice card with the Ten of Cups says new home to me. The Page of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles tells me that someone's working on a project or being creative in making something determined to make something perfect. They're making the same thing over and over, investing in their future with the seven of pentacles. The six of pentacles is your overall energy, meaning people are going to buy whatever this is that you're making or selling. There was a sacrifice here because the two of swords in reverse tells me that someone had a very difficult decision about ending something, leaving something, and going in a new direction with this Knight of Wands. This is my new direction card. But something here is coming in quick, unexpected, an opportunity that's, wow. You're going to have so many options that I feel like you're going to have so much money that you're not even going to know what to do with it. It's almost like as of looking at the whole thing that somebody took a risk here. They weren't happy where they were. I'm seeing that with the nine of cups. And they said, I have options and I want to do something else. So it's possible that somebody even quit a job here already and just decided to go all in with a business. It, the Midas touch is here. The King of Pentacles is known as the Midas touch. I feel like everything that you're touching right now turns to gold. Now, with the King of Pentacles being attached to the Justice card, I feel like this is possibly a marriage, but I also feel like this could be a business partner because the Two of Pentacles is like, Let's toss around some ideas. Let's move some money around. Let's see if we can make this work. Let's invest in our future. Let's plant some seeds. I do. I feel like there's a new person coming into your life. I feel like there's a new home and I feel like there's a new job as well or home-based business. That's home investing, um, planting seeds and investing in your home can also be home remodeling to me. If anyone is in a court case and you've been waiting for your payout, the decision is going to go in your favor and you are going to get your fair share. There's so much balance, balance, and balance here. But somebody needed the courage to do something. Someone needed to be brave and make a very difficult choice to allow this to happen.
Somebody was following their intuition here. I feel like this is either world travel or this is being recognized on the internet. If you're selling something on the internet, talk about success, growth, opportunities, happiness, joy, harmony. If this is a new person that you met, wow. This relationship is in it for the long haul and it's very stable, very grounded. I also feel like there is a child here. Hold on, Virgo. Let me turn that off. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I usually put my phone on silent and I forgot to do that because I was just so blown away by this reading. If this is some type of home-based business or something that's being done on the internet, I feel like it involves beauty, glamour, style, fashion, but you got this surprise. Something is a surprise. A surprise gift, a surprise opportunity, or if you were learning and studying this creative ability, it might be like this might be something that may be bought by a big corporation. They may be interested in a product that you made. I just feel like you're just having fun and you're so happy and the king of pentacles is sometimes known as the wealthy man and we have the wealthy man here giving to the poor maybe you have this could be a will if you had an older family member or somebody that passed away this would already be in the past and they're gonna you're gonna get your payout an inheritance because the Ten of Cups is about family. If someone's been trying to get pregnant here, I feel like that's going to happen as well. I'm just kind of sitting here looking at her and she looks like she's holding a baby. And we got the Page of Cups here. Somebody moved very slowly and very patiently in the beginning. I feel like somebody's been working on this project for a long time. There's some kind of project here. I feel like you're going to be able to buy whatever you want, Virgo. There's determination and dedication here. Hard working. I'm getting that very strongly. Somebody's very passionate about what they do or the product that they make. This could even be something that, like, you know, say somebody made a candle and put it on Etsy. And a big company, like, noticed it. And they want to invest in you growth and expansion you do have the justice card here the two of pentacles and the two of swords which all represents a decision that needs to be made it's about doing the right thing it's also about good karma you must have did something really nice for somebody else and and you're getting repaid that that tenfold you're getting what you deserve and somebody deserves this this is like everything <laughs> i can't wait to pull more cards but I feel like you could be signing some type of a business contract here. I'm getting the, the balancing way and comparing your options, L like making that list of the pros and cons and looking at everything and possibly even being confused. Which is the right cup? Which is the right thing? What should we do? I feel like this is a team effort. Ten of cups, sign of Pisces. That's my happily ever after. We love each other. We have all the money we need. We have all the happiness we need. We have all the children we need. It's abundance. There's a lot of abundance here in this reading. These could have been two very independent people that have decided to move in together and combine their finances. If someone does have a regular job and their own business on the side, they've worked very hard I'm hearing you've worked for it. You, you've you worked hard for what you got. These people put in the effort to get what this is. Seeing money being moved around from accounts. Possibly if you applied for a business loan to start a business with that page of cups, that's the beginning stages of something, you may be buying a physical building to sell your products like a store 
and you got approved for the loan. I feel like you are coming up on a time that is going to be very busy. There's a lot going on here. I don't even see any exhaustion. I think somebody like left a job or something very quickly. It's almost like you were working and you had this little side hustle. And I just use candles, for example, because I make candles. <laughs> I would love for somebody to buy my candles <laughs> or a company to invest in me. But it's like you were working, you making these candles on the side. And then all of a sudden you got a message one day from some wealthy man that wanted to sign some type of a contract with you and buy your product. And now you have to make a lot more of the product. So you could have made a difficult choice to walk away from your job very quickly like without any closure. I feel like that's what this world card could be because I saw the seven of wands flip up in the reverse while I was shuffling. And that is my I quit card. I give up. I don't want to do this anymore. But that painful decision that you made or difficult decision that you made was the right decision to make. You followed your guides. You listened to your intuition or just that the business really started to take off. Like if this is a couple that's doing this together and it's not somebody that's coming in to offer you, this is an offer, an offer from a rich man for a contract. Anyway, if this is two people and you did have this side business, you could have been doing it for a couple years, two years. And then one day it just, took off and you didn't you it's like you didn't even see this coming i'm so confused i'm all over the place now what do i do should i quit my job should i go full into the business because i feel like there's a little bit of worry here about the decision that you made but seven of pentacles planting seeds investing for your future waiting for it to pay off waiting for your hard work to pay off there's also even a possibility here that someone made a small investment into some type of stocks and the stock just took off because I'm getting like IRAs and things like that with all this money. I just heard good things come to those who wait. Wow. I have to tell you, Virgo, this is one of the best readings that I've ever done. I don't know if I've ever had this many pentacles in a reading, but you are going to be rewarded for your hard work and effort. Look at you sitting here, queen of pentacles, upright position. Just buy yourself some luxurious gifts. You deserve it. This was just something that was a hobby that turned into a successful product. And I do feel like you're working with your hands. There's a lot of working with hands here. Making something, painting something, making the same thing, making a lot of them, working. It's like you're working in chaos. Like, I, I, I don't have enough time to fill all of these orders, these products, but I love it. <laughs> I feel like that's what the confusion is. I feel like somebody's saying here... I think we need to expand our business. I think we need to get either a store or a warehouse or purchase just a bigger home so they could have their business in their house or... Because I know a lot of things are online now. I keep looking at this world card. I feel like this is online. It's like there's changes that need to be made in order for this business to grow. You're very confident. You're feeling good. You have figured something out. Very financially stable, independent. You could even be adding on to your home for this business. Because I'm getting home investment. Investing in your home. Building. But I just get, I get like a team effort. Balance. We're doing this equally, equally, equally. But things are happening so quickly that it's causing confusion. Hmm. All right, I'm going to pull you a guardian angel advice card. And then I'm going to take the rest of this reading on over to Vimeo. Angels, 
divine spirits and guides. Show me the advice or the final outcome or anything else that Virgo may need to know about this reading on the table. What other messages? Thank you. Ace of Action. This cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new up to opportunities related to your creativity. Again, your career and pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action. So if you've been procrastinating, it's time to get busy. It's also a great time to start a new, a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. I think that just summed up the entire reading. That was the Ace of Wands. Wow, a new passionate beginning. There was a new idea because it said that in the New Life card. You got something here, Virgo, that's going to pay off really big. I'm going to leave that portion of the reading there. I'm going to take the rest of this on over to Vimeo. And we're going to get more cards. And we're going to see if we can get a little bit deeper into this situation. If you are joining me on Vimeo, there is a link in the description box below that will take you to my Vimeo on demand page. 